Alistair Overeem was cut from the UFC roster Wednesday in a move that was first reported by MMA Junkie. Speaking on Instagram on Thursday morning, Overeem issued a quick statement on his UFC departure. Check out what he said. The final run has come to an end, but what a run it has been. Looking back at my 10 years in the UFC, this has been the experience of a lifetime. Huge thank you to the entire UFC staff the fans and all the fighters I came across. I couldn't have wished for any other better career path. A special thank you to Dana White and Lorenzo Fertitta for making everything possible. Fighting for all of you has been such an honor. This past week, Shimaev took to Instagram where he appeared to announce his retirement from MMA due to lingering effects from COVID-19. However, after he posted the now-deleted message, White revealed Chimaev would still fight again, but now he is uncertain about that. Check out what Dana said at the UFC 259 pre-fight press conference. And I just wanted to ask you also um, about uh, Hamza Chimaev. Uh, he posted that thing on Instagram a few days ago. Have you spoken to him lately? Uh, any, any updates on his condition? No, uh, you know, listen, the reason um we all love, you know, the kid and how he got a million followers in a couple of weeks on social media. Is that, that's, that's the type of fighter that fight fans like, that they like to watch, that they like to follow. He wants to fight every weekend. The guy has some effects from having COVID, so he's on very heavy medication. He's supposed to be resting and relaxing. He's not. He's training like an animal. And, you know, what happened to him is what's going to happen if you don't listen to the doctors. So, um... You know, he needs to take time off, he needs to relax, he needs to heal, and then he can come back and fight. I don't know what he's going to do, you know, we, you know we, we flew him out here to get him looked at. He's a grown man, he can do whatever he wants, we're, we're trying to help him every way that we can, but um, he needs to chill out is what he needs to do. Also, the brother of Kamzat Chimaev said that the Russian star became depressed and frightened after coughing up blood. He was not fully recovered. There are some points on the right lung that are not completely restored. Kamzat had been given antibiotics and after two weeks, he thought it was okay to train again. He was not completely finished. The lungs could not cope. He began to cough up blood and became frightened. He became depressed. This means so much to him. I told him to calm down, to give it time, that this disease affects different people differently. According to his brother, Shimaev has decided to not retire just yet, instead opting to give it a few months to see how he feels before making a decision about his future. He said that he has decided to continue now, but that it will take some time. I told him to rest for two or three months, then it will be good. Cody Garbrandt was allegedly kicked off a Southwest Airlines flight after a confrontation with a flight attendant. According to Garbrandt, the problem occurred when Southwest Airlines staff took issue with his two-year-old son not wearing a mask on the flight. Check out the video which Garbrandt shared on his Instagram account. Okay. You're going to hide it off? You're going to hide it there? You need to turn it off. Yeah, you're you're taking taking this off. off. Two years old. Next it's like two account. years old.
Uh, he's a tough guy. Like in this division, a lot of tough guys, you know. He is good, good striker. Have a, have good, uh, good game, you know. And uh, but I like that. I like this this fight to make me excited, you know. He is danger. He is violent like me. So it's gonna be fire, I'm sure. I think he know. Everyone know my power. Uh, so probably he gonna try to. Uh, to work uh, to to fight strike with me, but uh, probably after after fight start, sh he gonna try to to change his game, you know, and uh, try to took me to, to take me down. Maybe I don't know. More important, I'm waiting for everything. What he can bring to me. No, th there is always pr always pressure, you know, especially when you when you come after two losses so for me I always pressure but not about uh, not pressure about UFC or people around me I put pressure in myself you know so I want uh, I, I want prove that I that I deserve to be the the number two light heavy of the world Thiago Santos is a very dangerous guy. He fought against John Jones. He did a very good fight. Uh, he had a surgery, a long layoff, and then the fight against Glover uh, went not so good for him. I mean, he dropped Glover, but you can you could see on that fight that the ring rust was there. I think the ring rust will not be uh, so much like in, in his last fight. He's gonna be coming aggressive, I guess. That's his style. His 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 capoeira mixing things, you know, spinning back kicks, flying knees and elbows, knees. But I'm getting ready to this. I I, I had a I had amazing sparring uh, session, amazing camp, and my partners uh, copied copied him very good. And uh, yeah, but still, a fight is a fight, and he's dangerous, and I need to be ice cold and 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 to see my chances, and then. Uh, Okay, out. I think the the most important key is to be cold and do not get emotional, uh, like he sometimes does, and and he's no rushing, uh, and 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 then picking my shots, <clears throat> and then uh, something we're gonna open up, you know. And I think I'm the smarter guy in this fight, and uh, I can mix things better up, and yeah, that's 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 the one only thing that I need to be, you know, sure.